Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This is a pretty cool seed, I think it's going to be a good challenge seed. Um, we're on a little bit of an island and yes there is a maypole. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content, I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff helps the channel out and I appreciate the support. So here is the maypole. Now this particular maypole is pretty cool because it's it, it, it's just pretty wide open here. Um, this is a nice wide open location. Normally when you get a maypole, you get um, a village. Now this is technically a village because there is um, a structure here and there's you know your raspberry bushes and you've got a couple of boars running around, a couple of boar pens. Um, but this is pretty open. I like this. Now, this is on a little bit of an island. Uh, well, not a little bit. It's on a small island. And I'm going to show you the map in a minute. And we'll, we'll get really into the seed. Um, I like the aesthetic here because you've got water on two sides, that you can see. Um, you've got a ruin there. Uh, you know, uh, is it the best maypole I've ever found? No. Uh, but I think it's a pretty good location for a good big build. I could see building a really big fortress here. I think this would be a great place to launch your uh, Valheim adventures from. Building a huge citadel, really, right here. Or I think this might even be good for a server play. Um, you can build a huge base here. Have your portal hub set up and people can just sail out of here. You can build a nice dock near these ruins. Uh, I, I think this is pretty neat. So there's that. But also, as you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I really, really enjoy little islands with maypoles kind of tucked away. So before we take a look at the map, I want to remind everybody of what I do on these seed discovery videos. So I find maypoles and I find um, maypoles that are in pretty cool locations and then we do a really really deep dive into the map. I show where everything is. So if you're not into that I understand completely. The C description is in the title. You can just put that into the Valheim uh, map generator yourself and check out what you want to check out. But this is a pretty cool maypole. You're not going to be able to just get, you're going to have to go into cheat mode or sail here. You're not going to be able to run to it. However, the seed does have a maypole that you can run to. So let's check it out. So here is the maypole we're at, and here's the spawn. So you can see you're going to have to either get into a boat or fly over here. Now, th this isn't tiny, okay? This, this is a decent little island here, and there's some dark forest... Uh, black forest over here some resources uh, just for your information when I flew over I did fly over this area and I did see some copper here as well so um, yeah you're gonna have to sail over there or go into cheat mode so it's away from the spawn now the good news is, is you do have a maple down here I haven't checked it out but you can run to this one that's not half bad and the other thing that's fairly cool is is there's a lot of rivers here um, I haven't looked at it for build potential, but, you know, whenever you see this many kind of rivers crisscrossing, like this area right in here might be a really cool place for a build. Anyways, we're at this maypole up here. So let's get to the real important parts. Where are the bosses? So you're a little spread out here, which is uh, the point. However... What we do have is, is we have a decent play to the north. Now, you'll see in a minute with the traders as well why that's important. But you've got, you know, Elder, Bone Mass, Yagloth here. You've got the motor here, and you've got a Yagloth here. Um, you've got most of your bosses to the north, okay? You've got a really good play up here with three bosses, and you've got the motor right here, which is very close. Ichthyr, Ichthyr. Uh, the issue is going to be probably the queen. Um, there's one, there's a couple way over here. Um, there's a couple down here. You do have a play to the south as well. I don't know that I'll, that's the play I'm going to make, but, um, maybe if you're considering the Ashlands and you're thinking about the future, 
you may want to come south um, but for me it looks like to the north is where most of the action is going to be with this maypole however you know it's not a simple seed okay they're not lined up for you not everything is right next to where your maypole location is going to be so uh, plan accordingly traders a little bit better of a situation you've got Hilder right up here and you've got Haldor right here again you're gonna have to sail there but um, you know uh, in terms of proximity they're not too far away so I, I kind of like again I like the play to the north you're gonna grab this motor anyways and there's your Hilder you've got two right here um, I think that's pretty good now let's take a look at Hilder's quest because what we want to do is we also want to find it's not just Hilder we want Hilder's quest as well because if you if you're not aware in order to unlock more of the things that she has to sell you have to complete these quests and these mini mini bosses let's take a look at that now the good news is is you've got two of her quest areas pretty close to you you've got the motor you've got the one here Hilder's cave in this mountain biome by the motor and you've got another the plains fortress here now the the, the crypt in the dark forest or the black forest is one over here which is kind of a kind of a hike but you do have an elder right there as well so you've got that um I'm not really seeing another great location for the Elder Crypt spawn for Hilder. Um, so, not fantastic, but, you know, the good news is, is you've got an Elder right by it. So that's what we really want to see. What we want to see is, is we find Hilder, we accept her quests, and then we want to f see that her quests are by an elder now or or the other bosses now the other good news is is you do have a queen right here as well which is your closest queen really to your play so you you, you know initially as I princess at the seat I said look let's go north we've got bosses here that's true but for the Hilder's quest you're probably gonna want to go west for this elder right here you grab the quest right there. There's a Haldor there if you want it. Um, I'm still thinking you go north for that Haldor up here, but or this one, but to each their own. But then there's a queen right there. It's not a bad play. So we got those out of the way. Let's take a look at the biome. So first, next thing we want to see is we want to see where are all the tombs and crypts. Okay, not bad. This bone mass up here is exceptional. Okay, um, and remember you're based here, so that's a really good bone mass. This elder isn't bad over here. The elder over here is okay. Um, you know, it, it, the good news about this elder over here is, is of course, you've got, um, you've got the crypts right there, uh, and you had the Hilder's quest. Um, this queen is okay. You've got the you know, you've got a bunch of... This is a decent queen location, which we're going to find out in a minute. But what we want to see with the crypts is is very similar to the other things. We want to see a boss. We want to see all of the resources we need for that biome around that boss location. And that's one of the primary drivers I use to pick these seed discoveries. This elder is okay. Um, you've got a couple of uh, crypts right here, which are going to be accessible to your spawn um, before you you know get over here and you've got one over here on this island um, that should be enough to get you going I mean I, I don't see where you're gonna spend a whole lot of time in uh, in the black forest but you know it is what it is this is an exceptional bone mass that's really bone mass is usually the, the tricky one because there can be bone mass locations with nothing around it um, this bone mass has all of the crypts that you're going to need so you're not going to really need to do another swamp biome this is your one swamp biome so that's a positive let's take a look at frost caves because we want to see what's around this motor we already know that we've got a Hilder's quest up there okay we know that okay so let's take a look at the frost caves plenty of frost caves okay so again we found a uh, the biome with the boss 
It's got a Hildur's Quest, which is even better. And it's got Frost Caves. Now let's take a look at the Dragon Eggs real quickly. And we've got enough Dragon Eggs. You're going to need three. So this is, again, a very, very good... Um, this is an excellent uh, motor location. You, so here, what we have here is we've got a really good swamp with bone mass. We've got a really good motor location uh, in the mountains. Um, that's two exceptional biomes with all of the resources that we need. That's definitely something that we look at. Um, and by the way, this, this mountain up here is pretty good too. It doesn't have a motor though. But you, you want the Hilda's Quest by it. Um, so not bad. Now let's take a look at the plains, because what we want to see is around this Yagloth up here, which is probably going to be our play, what do we have for totems, right? We're going to need totems. It, there's not a lot. Yagloth is a funny boss, because it, it, sometimes, <laughs> it, it's very rare, but once in a while you get a whole bunch of totem camps. And th these are just, you know, the... the um, the fueling totems or whatever that you get, and they're basically they're they're, can they're the goblin camps. You got to raid it, kill the goblins, get the f get the totems. You need five of them to spawn Yagloth. Now this up here in and of itself isn't bad. You've got you know enough right in this area, but what you want to see is you want to see them right here. Okay, you've got a couple over here with your motor, and you can run to this Yagloth from this motor. Um, I guess it could be worse, okay? Because remember, you've got... Where's that maypole? Your maypole's here. You're going to be coming over here for the play for these two probably anyways, unless you decide to go up here, okay? Um, I'm thinking now more and more, really the only play up here is probably the bone mass. You're probably going to go this route for your elder because you want to get close to the queen. But to the Yagloth, you know, you, you've got enough fueling camps around here you're just going to have to manage it i think once you get to this motor you're cleared it you're ready for the planes you're going to pop over here pop over here maybe get a couple um and then you know get get your portal back here or wherever you're going to go but at least you've got a few around here again it would be great if we saw them closer to the yagloth but we do not so let's take a look at the tar pits Plenty of tar pits by the Yagloth, that's so you can get the uh, tile tile roofing um, aesthetic and, you know, get that resource. There's plenty up here, which is good. Um, not a great Yagloth, not a horrible Yagloth. All right, next is the queen. Now, we discussed this. It's probably going to be this western queen is the play. It's... It's not super close to the Ashlands. I mean, normally we'd want to be down here somewhere. And you do have a southern play here, if you want. Um, it's not the one that I would take, but you do have a southern play. It's just, it's pretty far away from your Maypole. But this is probably going to be the Queen location. So let's see what we got here. Um, a decent amount of resources around the Queen. Okay, um, the Seeker Spawners are pain, but, y you know, um, it is what it is. Um, it's not awesome. Let's take a look at the Tombs and Crypts again as well. Get that in here. Uh, you've got, a, well, that one's a, a Dark Forest one. Um, you've got a couple. Um, these are the town entrances for the for the Divergers. Um this isn't by any means the best queen location I've ever seen. Um, let me give full disclosure here. Um, I'm not a fan of the Mistlands. I did recently get in there and play a little bit more around it. And I, I just don't like the veil and the, the mist. And it, it's just not for me. Uh, the, the challenge is cool. I think it's a great biome. I think it's more for group play, though, honestly. Not a huge fan of the Miss Lands, but it is what it is. This isn't by any means a great queen. It's okay. So where are we at with the bosses? We've got two really, really good, I'd say, tens for motor and bone mass. The elder is is okay. 
Um, the fact that we've got that um, Hilda's Quest right there, though, let's get that real quick. That makes it even better. So we've got a really good Elder location. We've got a really, really good exceptional motor location. Um, but that Elder, you know, we've also got a Trader over here as well. So I think the Elder, the motor, and the Bone Mass are pretty solid. Ichthyr is Ichthyr, and but when you get to the end game, you know, your Yakloth is okay. Uh, it's not great. The Queen is a little bit sus. Okay, I'll give you that. So um, I, I'm really at like an 8, 8.5 on this seed right now with everything. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's take a look at some of the other um, ancillary stuff that we want to know about. So Leviathans. Um, plenty of Leviathans around this island. You should be, have no problem getting your Chitlin for your Abyssal Harpoons, etc. Troll Caves, so we can set up portals. It's it's okay. Um, you've got one right over here by this Elder. Again, there's the Hilder Quest here. There's also the, um, which is a mini boss. There's also a trader over here. Um, that's a really good um, location. Uh, you've got one up here, which gives you quick access to El to to the Yagloth. Um, you know, I use Troll Caves for um, portal hubs myself. I just Put them right in the entrance and then close it off. So not bad. This this couple of couple of troll caves over here by this queen, so you can get quick access. Um, not bad. Beehives. Uh, actually, not a lot near the spawn, which is odd. Um, enough on the starter island. Grab them when you come in. Um, there's a couple over here by this maypole. There's one down here by this maypole, and you have the rare occurrence of you have a beehive in the black forest which does happen from time to time it's rare so grab that on your way up you only need four or five of them once they start producing honey for you on the regular you'll be you'll have plenty in no time um what else can i show you tetra lake we have two tetra lakes by this motor um again this is a really really good motor location one of the better ones i've ever found um, in terms of what it has up there, I'm willing to bet it's loaded with silver as well. And wolves and everything that you're going to need from the mountains. I personally like the mountain biome. It's one of my favorites. I think this is a really good uh, mountain location. What else can I show you? We did dragon eggs. We did... Sh well, we don't really do shipwrecks. Guck. Miscellaneous. Useful runes. We're the piggies. Got a couple of boars on this island. Um, nothing that you're going to be able to... Uh, pull to your maypole and then enclose. My recommendation is this when you get to your maypole, build a pen for the boars that are running around, get them domesticated, and you'll be fine. Um, I think that's about it. So, overall, it's not a bad seed. I think this is a really good large build seed. I think this is pretty open here. You can have, you know, I, I can see you building a massive stone structure here, like a castle that overlooks this ocean, this bay right here. Um, I like the maypole in the middle. I like the aesthetic of this oak tree right over here. I like the ocean behind it. It's a small island, which is one of the things I, I enjoy in Valheim myself. Um, overall, I think the seed is like an eight, eight and a half. If you said, you know, Karak, I think it's an eight and a quarter or a seven and a half. I wouldn't argue too much. I think I think the bone mass and the motor location alone make this a pretty great seed, okay? Um, it, you know, if you're looking for the best possible seed with a seed run with, you know, speed run with everything in each biome, those are hard to come by, actually. Normally what happens, in my experience with doing these seed discoveries, is, is you find a good boss location that has all of the resources that you need. You know, it's got a Hilder's Quest. It's got maybe a, you know, if it's a Black Forest, it's got a trader by it. Y you may get lucky with one boss on the seed. The other bosses may suck. This one's got a couple of really good biomes. Um, and that makes it uh, video worthy. It's also got maypoles, which is one of the things that we seek out on this channel. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a good seed for you? Is this something that you would play? Um, I think I would probably do this seed, although I don't know because I really like the maypoles close to the water. But tell me what you think. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content as always. Thank you so much. 
and I'll talk to you again soon.